Biden's economy versus Trump's in 12 charts. Both presidents tout their contributions on the U.S. economy ahead of the 2024 election. But how do their claims stack up? The presidential election is less than a year away, and economic issues are once again top of mind for voters around the country. Despite the economy's rapid recovery from the pandemic, President Biden has struggled to convince Americans that his policies are improving their finances. In polls, the majority of Americans still say they trust former President Donald Trump's handling of the economy over Biden's. Both presidents' economic records have been defined by the pandemic and its aftershocks. The COVID crisis upended the job market, stoked decades-high inflation and added trillions of dollars to the federal debt. The economy today is vastly different from it was in 2017, when Trump took office. But the data shows just how each administration has left its mark. Biden, by adding 14 million jobs in less than three years, bringing the black unemployment rate to a record low and reducing student loan debt by billions. Trump, meanwhile, presided over a period of low inflation, low interest rates and low gas prices. Here are 12 charts showing the state of the economy now versus under Trump. Story continues below advertisement. 1. Job gains. The astoundingly strong labor market is arguably the White House's biggest victory. In some ways, the bump was inevitable, Biden took office at a time when millions were still out of work because of the pandemic. Even so, the rapid job gains in recent years have blown past economists' expectations and have fueled the economy's blockbuster growth. Even more remarkable is that the labor market has remained strong, despite the Federal Reserve's aggressive efforts to slow the economy. As long as Americans are employed, they've been able to withstand inflation and keep spending, allowing the economy to grow. Employers have created 14 million jobs during the Biden administration, with a monthly average of more than 400,000 positions. Recently, though, the pace of job creation has slowed, with 199,000 new jobs in November. By contrast, the economy added an average 176,000 jobs a month during Trump's first three years, before coronavirus-related closures and layoffs resulted in the sudden loss of more than 20 million jobs. The presidential election is less than a year away, and economic issues are once again top of mind for voters around the country. Despite the economy's rapid recovery from the pandemic, President Biden has struggled to convince Americans that his policies are improving their finances. In polls, the majority of Americans still say they trust former President Donald Trump's handling of the economy over Biden's. Both presidents' economic records have been defined by the pandemic and its aftershocks. The COVID crisis upended the job market, stoked decades-high inflation and added trillions of dollars to the federal debt. The economy today is vastly different from it was in 2017, when Trump took office. But the data shows just how each administration has left its mark. Biden, by adding 14 million jobs in less than three years, bringing the black unemployment rate to a record low and reducing student loan debt by billions. Trump, meanwhile, presided over a period of low inflation, low interest rates and low gas prices. Here are 12 charts showing the state of the economy now versus under Trump.2. Unemployment rate. Aside from a COVID-fueled surge in much of 2020 and 2021, the national unemployment rate has remained low through both Trump's and Biden's presidencies. Joblessness fell during the Trump years to a half-century low of 3.5 percent in early 2020, just before the pandemic. During Biden's presidency, the unemployment rate has inched down even further, to 3.4 percent earlier this year. It now stands at 3.7 percent. The year's long pickup in hiring has been particularly good for workers who are typically underrepresented in the labor force. Unemployment rates for Hispanic workers, black women and people with disabilities have all hit record lows under Biden's watch. The black unemployment rate, which Trump liked to take credit for improving during his presidency, fell during both administrations, but reached an all-time low during the Biden era earlier this year. Point three, Economic growth. For the most part, the U.S. economy has expanded at a steady pace under both Trump and Biden. Gross domestic product, a measure of all of the goods and services produced in the country, has grown about 22 percent since Biden took office. That's compared with a 14 percent uptick during Trump's presidency, when the pandemic forced the economy into a steep and sudden recession. Even so, the economy rebounded quickly, thanks in part to trillions in stimulus money, and was growing again by the time Trump left office. Now, under Biden, the economy has notched five straight quarters of growth following a six-month slump last year. 
The latest expansion has been powered by heavy consumer spending, which makes up about 70% of the economy, and new infrastructure and green energy projects spearheaded by the Biden administration. But economists note that the current rate of economic growth, an annualized rate of 4.9%, as of September, is unsustainable, and many expect growth to cool next year.